Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda and I am finally going to read some Catherine Rundell. All right, so this is the third, I think, week of middle grade March. And one of my goals for middle grade March this year was to finally get around to reading Catherine Rundell. I currently own four of her books. Um, I know that there's a fifth one out as well that I don't own yet, but I want to read her books because I own four of them. They sound amazing to me and I just think that I will really like them. And so I need to figure out, is she an author that I like or do I need to maybe get rid of some of these books? So my game plan is to read the first 10 to 15 pages of each of these. So kind of do a try a chapter. I do have the ebook of The Good Thieves, which is the book that I'm missing, and um, read 10 to 15 pages, and then I'm going to rank them and see which one do I think I'm going to like the most to the least, and then I'm going to read all of the books and rank them again and see if I was right. So that's the game plan here is to see if the try a chapter tag works. So let's, or try a chat, well, not tag, but try a chapter theory. Um, I know that that's something that a lot of people do well, they, where they will try a chapter to see if they want to keep a book or get rid of it or to pick which book they want to read first, all of those things. So that's kind of my game plan is to just read the first chapter, possibly two chapters, depending on chapter length, see if I think I'm going to like the book or not, and then read the book and see if I was right. I hope this all makes sense. So the books that I have, like I said, I do not currently own The Good Thieves, but I have that one on ebook, so I will be reading that one on ebook. Um, most of these I will probably end up reading the full book on audiobook, but I'm going to read for the first like 10 to 15 pages. I will physically read all of them. I do not know what the vast majority of these books are about. I know a couple of them, like very, very briefly what they're about, but for the most part, I don't really know what they're about. So The Good Thieves, no clue. No idea what that book's about. Um, the next one I have is The Explorer. I believe this is about a group of kids whose plane goes down in the Amazon rainforest. That's all I really know. I have Cartwheeling in Thunderstorms. This is about a girl who moves from Africa to a boarding school in England. Um, so that's all I know about that one. I have The Wolf Wilder. This is about a girl who her and her mother train um, domesticated, that was the word I was looking for. They train domesticated wolves to be able to go back into the wild, I think, and it's set in Russia. And then the Rooftoppers is set in Paris and it is about, I think, an orphan story and she finds like a found family on the rooftops in Paris. And I think it might have to do with music as well, but I don't really know. So that is kind of what I know about each of the books. Not a whole lot. I am going to read these. I'm going to take some time right now and read 10 to 15 pages in all of these, and then I'm going to let you know how they rank.
Hello. So I did finish reading all the books yesterday, but then I forgot to um, share with you guys my ranking. So before I actually get into reading any of the books, I wanted to share my ranking. So like I said, there are five books. I read the first 10 to 15 pages in each of them. It rounded out to about two chapters, um, the first two chapters in each of them. And so this is my ranking. Um, though I actually thoroughly enjoyed every single one of them. I could see myself um, continuing, like I wanted to just keep reading all of them, um, which is a good sign. Um, but at the bottom of the list, I'm going to put um, Cartwheeling in Thunderstorms, then The Wolf Wilder. In spot number three, we're going to put The Explorers. In spot number two, The Good Thieves. And in spot number one, Rooftoppers. So this is my um, guess as far as what I enjoyed from the first two chapters. And then I'm going to re-rank them when I get done reading all of them and see kind of where the chips fall. Um, but I did notice some similarities with all of them and some differences. One of the things that I love about each of these books that I did not know going into it is that they are all set in completely separate countries. Um, so there's one is set in France, one is set in Russia, one is set in Brazil, one is set in New York City, and one is set in Africa. And so they're all on different continents even. And so it's just really, I think it's really fascinating that one author wrote all of these books. Um, four of the books have female protagonists. One has a male protagonist. Um, there is a common theme of there only being one parent in the picture for the kids that have parents around them. Um, and so it's just been very interesting reading um, kind of the similarities and the differences between each of the five books so far. Um, but I think I'm going to start Hmm. Should I start at the bottom and work my way up? Should I just start in the middle? I don't know. I think I actually, I'm going to start with The Good Thieves. Um, and like I said, I will probably read a couple of physical. Uh, the Good Thieves, I will probably read um, on ebook. I have the audiobook for a lot of these. And so I will just kind of be reading them. And as I read them, I will update you on my ranking. So let's get started. Hey guys, I am prepping dinner. Um, but thought that I would check in because I have finished my first book as part of this project. So I finished listening to Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms, um, which is actually one of the ones I thought I was going to like least. And I ended up really, really enjoying it. I ended up giving it four stars. There was a couple of parts in it that were a little unbelievable. Um, and so it wasn't quite a five star read for me because... Believability is ranks pretty high up there in contemporary books for me. Um, and that's what this one was. Or historical fiction. Like anything that's supposed to be realistic, if it's not believable, I kind of, that's one of my kind of sticking points. So um, this was a story about a girl who lives in Zimbabwe with her father on a farm. And she is kind of used to just being able to run and do what she wants. And she doesn't really have a lot of rules. She sleeps outside. She, you know, can interact with the animals there and um, just kind of does her thing. And then her dad gets sick. Sorry, I'm cooking and I'm cooking meat. So I'm cutting up stuff up. So I figured you probably didn't want to see that. But um, her dad gets sick and... As a result, she ends up being sent to a boarding school in London, and she has a very, very, very difficult time acclimating to sleeping indoors and having rules, and um, the kids there make fun of her because she doesn't have the best hygiene, um, and she doesn't, you know, she just doesn't know the rules of society as they are in London. And so it's really difficult for her. And so this is just kind of a book that um, explores how she reacts to that and what she does to survive um, at this boarding school. And I thought that the message of it was absolutely fantastic. I loved the tie-in with the title. It was just really, really good. And I really loved a couple of the characters. I really didn't like a couple of the characters. Um, but I just thought that it was the writing. Like, I'm so glad that I was right. And Catherine Rundell, I think it's going to be a winner as far as writing goes for me. Um, so that's really exciting. So 
Anyway, I got my first one done. So right now, obviously, it's in spot number one. And we'll see kind of how things fall as I get into some more. I have started listening to The Explorer um, next. And I'm going to be reading with my eyeballs because I don't have an audiobook for it, um, Wolf Wilder. Um, so as soon as I get a chance to do some reading, that's the book that I'm going to be picking up first. Um, so I'm going to do that one first and I'm listening to the Explorer. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, but I will check back in with you guys when I have finished another book. Hey guys. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update, another update. Um, I have now finished the Explorer as well. So I did not care for it as much. So it's definitely going in slot two, Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms is still in spot one. And I have started reading The Good Thieves. Um, I'm also physically reading Wolf Wilder. It just takes me longer because I physically read very slowly. Um, but I am reading Wolf Wilder. I'm really enjoying it. And um, I have started The Good Thieves. So this is my current ranking. Uh, number one, Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms. Number two, The Explorer. Yeah, The Explorer I didn't care for as much. The Explorer is about a group of kids who are on like a small plane in um, Brazil, like going over the Amazon and their plane goes down and they have to figure out how to survive. Um, there's four of them and yeah, so I felt like the pacing was a little bit off on it. It just... I liked certain parts of it, but I was kind of bored by a lot of it, and the end, I just, I don't know. It was not my favorite book. Um, so yeah, but that's where I'm at with things, and I will update you when I have finished another book. Hello. Time for another update. I finished The Good Thieves. Um, I really liked it. It was really a fun book. Um, the Good Thieves is about a little girl. It's set in the 1920s in New York City. And it's about a little girl whose grandfather has been basically taken advantage of by one of the like mob bosses. Not mob boss, but by a bad guy. And she decides that she needs to break into the basically her grandfather's old house and try to take something back. And so she recruits some friends who happen to be part of one of the circuses in town and they try to pull off this little heist and it was so fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so it's going to be ranking number two as of right now. So, so far we have Cartwheeling Through Thunderstorms in first place, then Good Thieves, then The Explorer. So that's the ranking so far. I will check in when I have another update and yeah. Hello. So I'm looking a little rough. It's first thing in the morning and I haven't put my face on yet. But I did want to update you guys and let you know that I did finish The Wolf Wilder and I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I ended up giving it five stars, so it goes to the top of the list. So here is the current standing. Um, I have one more book left to read. The Wolf Wilder, I don't remember if I've said this or not in a previous update, but The Wolf Wilder is set in Russia. Um, right before the Russian Revolution and it is about a girl who wild domesticated wolves. So in Russia they would take wolves from the wilderness and domesticate them and then when their owners didn't want them anymore they would send them back out into the wild but the wolves didn't know how to survive so they had people that would teach them how to be wild again. They would wild them. So anyway it has to do with her and the, her and her mom start getting in trouble with the general. He starts like um, targeting them and she ends up having to run away. And it is just about her and her journey through the woods with a friend and some wolves. And it was so good. It was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. So that is the current standing. I still have, um, one more book left to read. I have the rooftoppers left and I have started it, but we're still one book away and then we'll be done. So I will let you know when I finish rooftoppers. All right. So I finished rooftoppers and it was good. It was not what I was expecting. It wasn't as good as I was expecting. So I ended up giving it three stars and I'm going to end up um, putting it in spot number four on my ranking. Um, so 
Rooftoppers is about a girl who was found as an orphan. She was found like by herself. And so she was taken in by this man. He helped raise her and she has always thought that her mother is still alive. She just had this feeling that her mother's still alive. And the authorities are like, nope, she's not alive. You gotta let go of this. And she decides that she wants to go to Paris to because she like gets a clue that maybe her mom was from there. And so she goes to Paris with her like adoptive guardian um, father and is looking for her mom and ends up on the rooftops of Paris and finds a group of kids that lives up there and they kind of help her see if her mom is still alive or not and you know all that. Um, I It was good but we don't get to the rooftops of Paris until like two-thirds of the way into the book and I was really hoping that it was going to be more about that and I also, there is an element of music, cello playing in this. And I was hoping that that was going to be more of a central focus of the book. And it wasn't hardly at all. And so it was just kind of okay for me. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good, but it wasn't my favorite. So my final ranking is this. We have The Explorer, Rooftoppers, The Good Thieves, Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms, and Wolf Wilder was my favorite. So if you compare these lists side by side from my, what I thought I was going to rank them um, according to their first couple of chapters to what I actually ranked them, I was completely off. Like completely off. I thought Wolf Wilder and Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms were going to be at the bottom of the list and they were at the top of the list. Um, I thought Explorer and it was going to be right in the middle. That was at the bottom of the list. I thought Rooftoppers was going to be at the very top and that was in the middle. The closest one that I had matching was The Good Thieves. I had it in spot number two and it was in spot number three. And it was, it was a good book. So anyway, I really enjoyed all of these books though. Um, except, I mean, The Explorer was just okay for me. That one kind of lost me a little bit. But I highly suggest that you check out Catherine Rondell, her books are all very, very different. The only like common theme through some of them are like orphaned children um, or people that are missing parents. And um, yeah, but, and they're all, let's see. Well, no, I won't say that, but they, they're all just very, very different. Um, something I will say, because I did not know this, but I read another, um, Catherine Rundell is a British author. She's published through the UK. And I read another um, UK publisher published book earlier in middle grade March. And it was similar there, but apparently swear words are okay. Um, there is a few mentions of the D word in a couple of these books. Um, and so, and it was the same with the other book that I had read earlier in the month that was from a UK publisher as well. And so if that's something that you're not okay with, just be aware of that. It didn't bother me, um, but handing it to like a fourth grader or a fifth grader, you might wanna be aware of that um, because that did come up in some of these. I definitely know in Rooftoppers and I'm pretty sure in Wolf Wilder as well. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, really enjoyed all of these. I'm so glad I finally read some Catherine Rundell and I've read, almost all of her books now at this point. She has a Christmas book and I think she has like a children's picture book maybe. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you got something out of this. I hope that you will check out some Catherine Rundell books. Um, if any of these sounded like something that would be appealing to you, I hope that you check them out. And yeah, other than that, if you've read any of these, I'd love to hear your comments about them, as always, down below. If you tried a new author this month for, for the first time that you really enjoyed, let me know that too, because I tend to buy a lot of books from authors that I've never read because they just, the um, synopses of the books sound appealing to me, and so I just keep buying the same author without actually reading any of their work. So if you have tried a new author recently that you really loved, let me know who that was. And yeah, other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time. See ya.